This is insane. The truth behind Heineken kidnapping story. It was a crisp autumn evening in Amsterdam. The year was 1983, and the notorious Dutch criminal, Willem Holieder, was lurking in the shadows. He had been plotting for weeks with his accomplices, Van Hot, Meyer, and Ballard, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. As the clock struck 7 p.m., the target emerged from his office building. It was none other than the wealthy businessman and brewery magnate, Heineken. In an instant, the calm of the night was shattered by the screeching of tires and the rattling of guns. Heineken's driver, Ab Dodrer, had no chance to react as the four masked men pounced on the car. Within moments, the two men were ruthlessly dragged out of the vehicle and whisked away to an undisclosed location. It was a shocking crime that sent shockwaves throughout the city, and the mastermind behind it all was none other than the cunning and elusive Willem Holieder. Along with his co-conspirators, he had executed a plan that would go down in history as one of the most audacious and brazen kidnappings of all time. Now, let's talk about Holieder's most audacious crime, the kidnapping of two men, including the wealthy businessman and brewery magnate Heineken. This was no ordinary kidnapping. Holieder had spent nearly two years meticulously planning every detail, even going so far as to construct a false wall in a steel shed to hold his captives. The kidnappers demanded an exorbitant ransom of 35 million Dutch guilders, a staggering amount that would be hard for anyone to come by. Despite the police's advice, Heineken's family ultimately met the demand and handed over the ransom. It was the highest ransom ever paid for a kidnapping victim at the time. But as we all know, you can't trust criminals. The kidnappers took the money and fled, leaving Heineken and his driver chained to the wall of the secret shed. It wasn't until an anonymous tip led a police officer to their location that they were finally rescued on November 30th. It's a wild tale of greed, deception, and ultimate justice. So come along for the ride and discover all the twists and turns of Willem Holieder's life. Ah, Willem Holieder, the notorious Amsterdam gangster whose criminal record reads like a twisted novel of violence and mayhem. This guy has seen more arrests and releases than most people have had hot dinners. Holieder's infamous reputation was cemented with his role in the high-profile kidnapping of Freddie Heineken, president of the famous brewing company, back in 1983. The audacious plot saw Holieder and his cronies demanding a whopping ransom of 35 million guilders, an amount that most of us can only dream of. But that was just the beginning of Holieder's criminal career. In the years that followed, he racked up a lengthy rap sheet that included extortion and at least 25 murders. He served time behind bars, only to be released and arrested again, like a twisted game of cat and mouse with the law. Despite all his brushes with the law, Holieder just couldn't keep himself out of trouble. He was finally sentenced to life in prison in 2019 for his involvement in multiple murders and manslaughter, a fitting into a career of violence and corruption. The sheer number of arrests and releases in Holieder's criminal history is staggering. It's enough to make even the most seasoned law enforcement officers head spin. So take a deep breath and brace yourself because we're about to take a wild ride through the twisted world of Willem Holieder's criminal empire. Holieder's life story reads like something straight out of a Hollywood crime thriller. From his early days as a member of a gang involved in evicting squatters and committing robberies, to his rapid rise to the position of crime boss, to his involvement in one of the most notorious kidnappings in Dutch history, Willem Holieder's life was marked by violence, crime, and tragedy. But there was more to Holieder than just his criminal activities. He was known for his distinctive physical feature, a gigantic nose that earned him the nickname De Nus. He also came from a troubled family background with a father who had been fired from his job at Heineken due to alcoholism. Despite his past, Holieder was able to build a criminal empire, thanks in part to his association with Jen Bullard, Franz Meijer, and Cor Van Haut. Together, they carried out a daring armed robbery of a money order office in Amsterdam using a speedboat. And then came the kidnapping of Freddie Heineken, which put Holieder in the spotlight and made him one of the most wanted men in the Netherlands. Even after his arrest and imprisonment for the kidnapping, Holieder was far from reformed. He continued to be involved in criminal activities, including extortion and murder. And despite the efforts of his own sisters to bring him to justice, he remained defiant until the very end. Willem Holieder's life was a reminder that the world of organized crime is never too far away from any of us, 
and that the consequences of such activities can be devastating for both the perpetrators and their victims. When Holyder and his accomplice Cor van Haut made off with several million guilders as part of Heineken's ransom, they didn't just spend it on fancy cars and exotic vacations. No, they used that money to fuel their own extortion empire. These guys weren't content with just one heinous crime, they had to go and become full-blown crime bosses. But things took a turn for the worse when Van Haan was killed in 2003. It seems that Holyder's brother-in-law knew too much and had become a liability. This is where it gets really sinister. Real estate mogul Willem Endestra got into business with Holyder. But when he secretly testified against him to the police, Holyder allegedly retaliated by linking him to around 25 murders, including Van Haut's. But the ultimate act of cold-bloodedness came when Endestra was shot dead in broad daylight near his office in 2004. It's a chilling reminder of just how dangerous the criminal underworld can be and how one wrong move can be fatal. After Holyder's successful extortion of Willem Enstra and a few other unsavory activities, things took a dark turn. He was implicated in not one, but two deadly shootings, one in Thailand and one in broad daylight near Enstra's office. It's believed that Holyder and his partner in crime ordered the head, but that's not all. During his trial, lawyer Bram Ziegers testified against Holyder, stating that he had extorted millions of euros from Enstra. However, just one week after giving his testimony, Ziegers died from a drug overdose, which only added more mystery to the case. But that's not all, my friends. As the trial went on, another body was added to the count, linking Holyder to the murder of a Yugoslavian drug dealer. Despite being found guilty of extortion and sentenced to nine years in prison, of which he served six, Holyder continued to make waves. His notoriety began to border on the surreal as he was treated like a celebrity globally despite protests from politicians who didn't want him to be glorified. Holyder took the media by storm, appearing on TV shows, collaborating with rappers, and even writing a weekly column for a general interest magazine. It seems that no matter what he did, people couldn't get enough of him. Willem Holyder was a master of the criminal underworld, known for his ruthless tactics and bloodthirsty ways. But despite being convicted of multiple crimes and serving several years in prison, Holyder's public image remained largely unchanged, with many people treating him like a celebrity. Holyder's rise to infamy began with the infamous Heineken kidnapping, in which he and his associates snatched the beer magnate's heir for ransom. While they successfully secured a hefty sum, millions of guilders remain unaccounted for, believed to have been used to fuel Holyder's extortion empire. When his partner in crime was killed, Holyder's relationship with his real estate mogul partner soared, leading to a courtroom battle in which Holyder was found guilty of extortion. But it was just the tip of the iceberg, as he was also implicated in a string of murders, including those of his own friend and brother-in-law. Even after being sentenced to prison, Holyder's public image remained largely intact. He became a media darling, writing weekly columns for a magazine and even collaborating with a popular rapper. But finally, after years of dodging justice, Holyder was sentenced to life in prison for his role in a long list of murders and other heinous crimes. It's a cautionary tale, a reminder that no amount of power or money can save you from the consequences of your actions. The story of Willem Holyder is one that will be remembered for years to come, a chilling reminder of the dark side of human nature. As we come to the end of this gripping case study, we are reminded of the consequences of a life of crime. Despite his notoriety and the public's fascination with him, William Holyder's crimes have caught up with him and he has been sentenced to life in prison. It's a stark reminder that every action has consequences and the choices we make can have far-reaching impacts not just on ourselves but on those around us. If you found this video interesting and informative, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on our latest content. And if you have any thoughts or options on the case of William Holyder and the truth behind the Heineken kidnapping, please share them with us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.